Hello, it's Sydney here again from the Forbidden Worlds YouTube channel with another short spooky story for you. This one is called Postscript to Death. Sylvia suddenly found herself running breathlessly towards the house. She had a strange feeling that something terrible had happened and she prayed fervently that her husband was all right. When she got to the house, she flung open the front door and called out with a desperate intensity, John! John! But there was no answer. Fearfully, she began a tour of the rooms, which seemed to be overcast with the hush of death. The conviction struck her that John had died, and she was about to burst into grieving tears when she heard the sound of a car pulling up in front of the house. Looking through the window, Sylvia uttered a heartfelt cry of relief as she saw her husband get out of the car. But what was he doing in a funeral car? And why was he wearing those dismal mourning clothes? Had any of their relatives or friends died? Why hadn't John told her about it? She raced to the door, a thousand questions on her lips but they were all unasked as she saw the stark lines of tragedy etched into her husband's face. There was something lifeless about him, as if all emotions had been drained, as if he were no more than a hollow shell from which all life and spirit had fled. Frightened, Sylvia shrank back into the shadows of the hallway, wondering whether this was actually the laughing John she'd always known. As he swept by her with unseeing eyes, she stretched out a timid hand to touch him, but he went up the stairs as if he'd felt nothing at all. Was this a horrible nightmare she was having? Desperately, Sylvia pinched her arm with all her strength, feeling the sharp pain as her long nails dug into the soft flesh and the bright red mark her fingers had made told her that this was no dream, but awful reality. Slowly, she followed John up the stairs, watched him enter her room with the stiff tread of a sleepwalker. She stood in the doorway as he opened one of her closets and stared at her clothes. Suddenly, he was on his knees, his hands clutching at her dresses, crying. For a moment, Sylvia stood there in stunned astonishment, dumbly thinking that this was the first time she had ever seen him weep. But then she ran towards him with outstretched arms, her heart racked by his sobs. John, John, what's wrong? She cried, dropping to her knees beside him and enfolding him in her arms. Tell me what's the matter, darling. Let me help you. John didn't seem to have heard her. Instead, he clenched his fists and cried out. Why, why did it have to happen to her? His face now raised, he was staring up at the ceiling. Sylvia bent over him, looking right into his pain-filled eyes that gazed right through her, as if she weren't even there. John! Sylvia cried, terror growing in her heart. Talk to me! Look at me! He can't, my dear, a quiet voice said behind her. The living can't see the dead. Come. You have many years to wait until he can talk to you again. Sylvia whirled and gasped at the sight of her mother, who had died years before. Slowly, Sylvia advanced to take her mother's outstretched hand, aware of the truth at last. <laughs>